Are you Kim, are you snowed in? I no snow at all. It's a beautiful no snow. Day. Nice. We're like Hawaii here. It's 60 degrees hot and hot and raining. <laughs> I got I went out to the car this morning and I'm like, oh, it's like swampy out here. <laughs> so I gross. Kim was in Maine. Yeah, Kim is in Maine. I'm in Maine. Are you snowed in? No snow. Oh my goodness. That's so good. All those, you don't know how to drive in the snow. All no. those storms didn't get to you, huh? Uh no, we had wind and rain here, but he's on um John lives on the coast. Yeah. So he's got milder weather. Hi, Carolyn. Hi. I'm trying to get my so, camera angles the, right. The dog yeah. just moved. He was chewing on my bands and sitting on my fake fur web. Daniel, I have to tell you. I had a to horribly injured shoulder after last week's class. <gasps> oh, oh no! This thing, Why? this thing. Yeah, we've done that a million times. Huh. No, I guess with that band, you were remarking that band seems really hard. I couldn't move my shoulder the next day. <laughs> Got it. Oh okay. no! Has like so we've I done that one like at least once a month. Oh no! I'm missing my band. The dog has. Well, we do the we do these. There's ones the blue ones, ones underneath you. Yeah, this was oh, really right. hard. I don't know what I did, but anyway. Okay. You always ask me how's everybody last week, and I went, "Well, hell, I spent well, the day I'm a sitting mess. around <laughs> with a heat pad on my shoulder." Okay. Oh no. I think I'll, I think I'll do injure myself more often because I didn't have to do too much. <laughs> yeah, I got out of all the dishes on Christmas. It was great. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start with our stretches. Grab your strap. So, Danielle, it wasn't raining when you drove in today? It was, but not too bad. Uh-huh, because it was pouring here. Yeah, right before I left, it poured. It was like three huge thunder. Oh. And Whoa. then it dumped. And then by the time I actually got my car to leave, it was <laughs> too bad. Oh, great. <laughs> It's not raining in Mill Valley right now, but it has been. Yeah, all it's night a little long. drizzly, but not. It was supposed to rain till about one today. So they say. So the, they, whoever they are. Yeah. <laughs> I, I asked my mother once with a little, who are they? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody goes, well, they say, well, who are they? What do they know? Yeah, what do they know? <laughs> good one. Did everybody have a good Christmas? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Good. How about you, Lori? Sure. We just had di we just had a nice damn dinner. That oh, was good. Was very All right, good. Let's go across the body for IT Ben. I made Hop and John. What? Hop and John. It's actually a New Year's um, tradition in the South, and it's got ham hocks and sausage and black-eyed peas and It's a soup. Oh, oh my gosh. Now I have a giant pot. I made ham and beans last week with the ham hocks and the two kinds of beans and carrots and celery and onion in it. It was pretty yummy. Yeah, that's the cool. weather. It is soup weather. Soup and stew. And I love ham hocks. Oh, they're yummy for sure. I made standing uh, prime rib roast for Christmas ah, Day. Nice. It, was, it was good. I was panicked thinking, oh my God, what if I burn this giant hunk of meat? But I didn't. I did a good job. <laughs> And my son cut it up. He's good with swords. <laughs> All right, let's go away from the body for the groin. I know my brother did Wellington, but with a pork tenderloin instead of with um, beef. 
Oh, yeah. And then he did, he wrapped, so he sauteed the pork, like, you know, browned it on all the sides and uh, seared it, not sauteed it, seared it. Then he wrapped it in prosciutto, then like the normal stuff you put on beef wellington, then the dough. Oh, nice. Oh, that was good. good. And then I made um, chicken scallopini with a little marsala wine sauce. It was good. Gracious. You guys are such good cooks. Yeah. Well, it's nice because we all cook. So we all did a little bit. And then my brother's wife doesn't cook. So tag your it, do the dishes. (laughs) (laughs) Works out great. (laughs) No matter how many people I hear, I have the next day, I always spend the whole day doing, doing loads of My mom cleaned all day yesterday. Yeah, clean. All right, let's go figure four. Whoa, my favorite. Oh. Yeah, taking out the, take, putting away the linens, taking down the candle. Yeah, washing all, all the towels and the bathroom yeah. rugs and all we that had, stuff. We had champagne in the beginning, so I'm hand washing my champagne glasses. And, yeah. Yeah. I know my mom used her fancy china for the second or third year in a row. Good. Good for yeah. her. I know she goes, What the hell? I have this here and I never use it. And yeah. if, you, if she doesn't use it, you're going to get it. <laughs> I'm not going to get it. I don't have room for stuff in my tiny house. If I don't use it, I don't keep it. Good for you. You're not a pack rat, huh? Well, no, I mean, I think after cleaning out my grandparents' house, I was like, Why does anyone? I mean, I still have too much stuff, let's be real, but. Compared to those two had 4,000 square feet of stuff. Right. <laughs> I at least only have 900 square feet of stuff. <laughs> I cleaned up my parents' house in Illinois and they had a full basement. Plus, they Oh, yeah. A- see, that's horrible. All right. Let's switch to the other leg. Two garages and both the tops of both of the garages were full of stuff. Yeah, like, and then all the, like, toxic old poison bottles that you don't actually even know what's in them. But my grandfather had all the, like, amber glass bottles with, like, oh, the, yeah. like the little um, pieces of, um, what's the tan tape called again? Masking tape. Yeah. And then, then, like, you can't really read it anymore. So we're like, unclear. So we just called, like, a poison control place. And they came and picked them up. And they're like, oh, we literally don't know what's in all these, like, explosives. Um, I'm sure they were pesticides and fertilizers. But I agree. Oh, my God. They get all mixed together. We could have blown up the house. (laughs) So we're like, no, we're not throwing any of these away. Because if the glass breaks and they mix in the trash cans, we called some poison control place. And they came and got everything thing yeah Did they charge you yeah i think it was a, a dumping fee of sorts but i mean it's better than accidentally blowing up the neighborhood yeah. right <laughs> or, it or, or causing ourselves cancer or whatever yeah exactly all right let's go across the body for the it ban my father also had his shop building on the property he had a big giant piece of property and it was full of tools all yeah. this work stuff. So it was took me a long time to get rid of all of it. And they couldn't bring anything home because they lived in the Midwest. Yeah. A few, a few tchotchkes and that was it. I did ship their Oriental rugs out here, which took about four months to get here because I had to put them on somebody else's U-Haul bay or allied trucking thing. Yeah. It was a lot of work. Well, then you got to go to certain cleaners if you have to have them cleaned. I really wish I hadn't have done it because, you know. It ruined them? Well, it didn't. I didn't know they were in good shape. But you can't. I don't have a house big enough to put four giant uh, Oriental rugs. Oh, in. yeah. There's that, too. Yeah. They have the yeah. huge foyer for it. I had them stored for a long time. And I finally convinced the children to each take one. Yeah. Okay, let's go away from the body. I've got the smaller ones. I I've got I use those. They're in my house being used, but the big ones I just couldn't use. 
Well, good wool rugs or whatever are so expensive to buy. So if you can get them, hand me downs. Get them, yeah. I'm calling Abdul. I'm adding this to our playlist. <laughs> Paula Abdul, what? So we're we've been adding songs to a playlist, and uh, I have on a a mixed radio station. And um, whenever I hear a song <laughs> like I'm adding it to the knee joint playlist, oh, and it's oh Paula my. Abdul. Oh. oh. <laughs> But like, I actually, I still have her album. It's horrible. Absolutely <laughs> horrible. There's the like two songs that made it on the radio. And then there's like remixes of the same song. All right, figure four. Um, oh. Yeah, it's absolutely horrible. Oh. Well, don't, forget, <laughs> don't forget to put a Rolling Stone song on. Oh, I know I need to do, I'm going to try a couple different like genres of music. Oh, good. And then we'll we'll go from there. Oh, good. Yeah. And and one Grateful Dead. Oh, there'll be more than that. Just we'll one. figure it out. Well, most people don't really care for them, so. But one would make me happy. <laughs> How cute. <laughs> You'd have to play. There's got to be more than one because you'll never hear it when you're in here. I know you're right. More than one. <laughs> You'll have to do a sixties. Right. That, yeah. That's it. Right. Right. Sixties. Oh yes. All right. So then if you go on to your side, do your quad stretch. If you need to stand up because your shoulder hurts, you always put your foot back on. Like no, my shoulder's chair. fine now. Okay, me my, we're healed. Me and my uh, heating pad got along really well last week. Great. <sighs> you know what, Gail? I just thought of something because I did all my shoulder exercises from... Uh -huh after I got my new shoulder. And one of the things that was really emphasized was in doing that one that hurt your shoulder is pinching your, sh make sure that you pinch and and lower your wings. So oh, that your wings, yeah. You're, okay. Um, yeah, you pinch and lower them. So when you're pulling down, you're not pulling from your, I, don't know. Sure. Uh, I can't explain it, but yeah, no, I understand exactly what you're saying. Oh, Instead good. Uh, oh, good. The tension at the top of your shoulders, pinch uh, down and really go for the back part. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Yeah. Try that ne next time. I will from someone who knows. Thank you. Yeah. I think I'll add those into my regular routine. I do just to, because that's the weak spot, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, other side, roll over, rover. And that's probably not the only weak spot I got. We could just spend all day talking about that, couldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> For me, it'd be my whole body. <laughs> oh, sometimes I feel the same way. Oh. oh, man. Tight tummies, tight core. Thank you. Push it back, push it back. Push those hips forward. Yep. Do we get that, Ashley? Is that obnoxious? <coughs> it's teal. It's not green. Oh, it does kind of look like a football field. That's funny. I didn't think about that one. But no, you don't like it coming in an office setting. <laughs> Have you, Danielle, have you, do you do any hiking in Marin? I do. do you, have you ever gone up Rodeo, uh, from Rodeo Beach up to the Battery? I've and not then, gone up. Uh, oh, yes, I have done that. Yes. And then you take that little trail. That I goes... was very um, 
we were very adventurous the day we did that. So you, I would not send anyone on the path I went on. My friend made me go up some deer trail. Um, okay, go ahead and rest. Oh, no. Let's go ahead and do our half kneeling stretch. Yeah, we went on some like deer trail that was like chest deep brush that I was walking with my arms straight up. Oh, so I was yeah. scared to get poison oak. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, no, look, and this takes us back to the trail. And then we got on some road that the reason why no one else was on it was because it had collapsed. So there was this oh. huge like five foot gorge that we had to jump. Oh, my God. I was like, last time I go wandering with you, but I have been up there, but not the way I don't think you went. (laughs) I wanted to ask you, you go around to where you get to the end and you go in that little mandala circle that's at the top? Yes, I've been to, yeah, we did go to the labyrinth and then we went like into one of the little missile silo things. Yeah, okay. Um, But then we went on an adventure. That's a... That's a really cool spot to go to, especially yeah. if it's not windy. If it's windy, it's kind of spooky to be up. No, we went on a day. It was so nice that thank God we got there early because by the time we left, people were parked all the way out to the Mammal Center. Wow. Yeah, we picked a good day to go and thank God we got there early. But um, And then our hike took a little longer than we thought because we went on an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> well, good for you. Yeah, but no, that was pretty. And then I also have parked at the Spencer Drive exit, I think it is. And I parked there, like, where there's the commuter lot. Yeah. And then you go up the, like, it's like a mile of switchback stairs. And then... Oh, it's awful. (laughs) Yeah. And then I went to the left and went up to where you're that lookout right over the bridge. That was really nice. Yeah. Okay. Other side? (laughs) that switchback thing is horrible. Though. Yeah, it's a little rough. But it once is- you get up there, the view is really nice. Because you can get to Rodeo Beach from there, right? Uh, Yes, but you have to go all the way up there, and then you go all the way down. And then right. Like, yeah, because we went it's through a long the way. valley, and we went like around the side that went more to the Golden Gate Bridge Point. Oh, okay. but I think if you go to the right, it takes you to Rodeo Beach, I think. I'm uh, hoping when my granddaughter comes up, I can take her on, on a couple of hikes overlooking the bridge. Maybe yeah. even Lands End would be good. Yeah. If it's not windy. I don't like windy ones. Yeah. Hi, Puss. Oh, Jerry forgot to feed his lunch. Him lunch. He's, he came over and said, it's time for lunch. I'm Go ask Cher. Cher, can you feed him? I forgot. <laughs> okay. So now let's go ahead and go on to our back. We'll do bridges. I want to do cross leg or single leg. <sighs> I got to play with this volume. It's too loud. Sorry. I'm loud. Cross leg or single leg? Oh, okay. Cross leg or single leg, yeah. If you're feeling sore, do cross leg. If you're feeling good, single leg. You ready, Kim? Uh, yeah, I don't know if I could do them anyway. I didn't uh, remember to take my <laughs> tile in the horror. Okay, we'll do table. double leg then. I will see what I can do. Okay. All right. Ready? Go. If you need to do double leg, Kim. Yeah. But Lori and I did do them the other day. I did them. Good. Yeah. I'm glad you guys are still doing your routine. Yeah. Oh, yes, we are. 3,000 miles going. 3,000 miles apart, but we're doing it. <laughs> yeah. Only three hours apart. <laughs> really. <laughs> Kim, you're lucky you get to do the early New Year's and go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're adjusted to the time. It's not really early anymore, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't celebrate New Year's Eve anymore. I'm always in bed, bed by 11. <laughs> yeah. Last year, I was like, just so with the COVID thing, like still going. 
I just said, screw it. I watched the Macy's thing or whatever it was at nine o'clock and yeah. fell asleep on the couch. Good night. I know I don't know what I'm doing this year either. I might not be doing anything either. It's just not worth it. Mm -mm. Oh, by the way, Danielle, I took your advice. Mm -hmm. We went to the Christmas Eve party. And Reno and I wore masks. Perfect. And we were the only two people that had masks on. And we were like pariahs. <laughs> yeah. Okay, rest a second. If you want to hug your knees in, do that. And then we'll switch to the other side. But yeah, but at least you went, right? You got to see people. There's no need to eat. Just eat before you go. Yep. That's just about what it was. Yeah. Yeah, because I feel so much more comfortable if I'm in my mask talking to big groups of people. Yes, but it, it made them all nervous. Because they thought you were sick? No, they knew I wasn't sick. They just knew that my husband's 86 years old. Yeah. Bring it's not worth it. And so, but okay. whenever Ready I to go on the other side? Effort to talk to anybody, all they wanted to talk about was COVID. Yeah. Ready, <laughs> go. It was not the best. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I know my mom made me run to the grocery store on Christmas Eve and I wore my mask and I might have been the only person in the whole store and like everyone's staring at me. I'm like, I don't really care. No, uh, I don't care about the grocery stores. because I, I don't, don't know, know who you people are. I don't know where you were. I don't know if you have a cold. No, thank you. Uh, well, cold or that horrible flu. My daughter-in-law has it. Yeah, and people have the stomach flu right now, too. I don't want any of it. <laughs> no, keep your germs to yourself. Yeah, no, thank you. I know, and it was nice because the family we were with for Christmas all had just had COVID, so they were all, like, on the mend and, <laughs> and stuck in the good. house. So they were not very germy either because they didn't go anywhere for the 10 days before Christmas. It was perfect. <laughs> well, there were two families that didn't show up because they were ill. And they were well, ill with COVID. At least they didn't come, you know. Yes. Yeah. They had the flu and the cold, not COVID. So. Yeah, but, but still, I no one wants any of that. Stay home, please. Uh -huh. They're also younger. Too. Yeah. Right. Oh. Done with bridges. <sighs> so let's do regular clam shelf today since last time we did the fire hydrants. So get your band on. It looks awful. Wow. It is mosquito flavor, so I thought it was really good. Minty and limey. Like refreshing. It's not really good. Mm. Coconut water. Put it in the freezer so it gets cold and then just choke it down. Yeah, exactly. All right. Have... Carolyn, knees. Carolyn, huh? bend at your knees. That's not going to do you any good. <laughs> Sorry, I was oh, waiting yeah. for everyone to get ready and Carolyn had to <laughs> <laughs> try to make it easy. too easy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Ready? Go. Whoops. <laughs> make sure you don't roll back. Make sure you try to go that little bit higher. Really get your bum working. No. Thank <laughs> you. 
As you get tired, make sure you're not rolling back, especially with that little extra lift. 30 more seconds. <laughs> That's Scott again? Yes. We need to get his calendar now. I'm like, why are we even doing this? <laughs> Was he just trying to squeeze one more in before his surgery? I guess. I mean, it's not like you want to put more than just one on the books. Uh, for him. All right. Rest a second and let's do the other side. When is his surgery? The 24th? 125. So we could see him like two more times before surgery and then <coughs> like two weeks and three weeks post op and then he can call and can't see. Okay. Yeah, everything stacked again. Belly button drawn in. Ready? Go. I know I was going to wear my new shoes today, but it was raining. So I want to wear my new kicks. Get two new pairs of Nike so I can throw away all these shitty ones that are falling apart. Smart not to waste them all. Especially when I had to stand in a freaking public. Idiot. all right so next i want to do forward backwards walking with the band around the ankles so i want to stand up band around the ankles we're going to go feet wide like we're on a train track and then walking very straight legged and or robotic in nature so as we do this we want to Feet very straight legs. So I'm going to keep my feet wide as I go. Okay. But I also want to think about as I'm going, my knees stay straight forward and backward. So lots of little steps. Each step should probably only be like 12 to 18 inches. Where am I? I call it the larch. Yeah. <laughs> you put your arms out like this. <laughs> Frankenstein, if you will. All right, looks like Lori left us. All right, we ready? You have a clear runway, everyone? Yeah. Ready? Set, go. So keep wide, keep rigid. It sounds like a street cleaner or something. And then backwards? Yep. Pull back right from your butt <laughs> cheek crease as you pull backwards. Colder now than it was this morning. Oh, we do backwards, not back the other way, yeah, right? Yeah, backwards, yeah. But don't trip if there's something on the floor there. Okay. The other ladies have a nice clear runway. I don't know what's going on in your house. Don't fall downstairs. There's a lot going on in that house.
Well, there's the dog. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Now in your same runway, if we turn to your side, we can do side steps. If you have dumbbells available, we can do bicep curls while you do your side steps. But if you don't have dumbbells available, don't worry about it. <clears throat> Okay, so now side steps, always keeping a little tension on that band. Don't let your ankles come together. So shoulder width, hip width, shoulder width, hip width. All right, ready, go. Okay, let's untie ourselves. If you need to do a few more steps to be even, go ahead. If you're even, you're done. All right, so now what I want you guys to do is we're gonna stand heel toe, but I want you near something you can lightly grab onto if need be. So if you wanna hold on to your bookcase, your treadmill, the handrail, the stairs, I don't know, you tell me. But we're gonna stand in a heel toe position. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna slowly turn your head side to side. So standing heel toe, and you're gonna look to the right, left of the aisle, left side of the aisle, nice and slow. We're gonna go back and forth slow. Don't give yourself a headache or hurt your neck. We're gonna go 30 seconds. Out. And then arms. we're gonna switch our feet and we'll do 30 seconds. Arms out to the sides? If you, if you need your arms out to the side, yes, but like where you can grab something if need be. Okay. All right, ready, go. Slow head turns right, left. And it should ideally kind of knock you over, which is the point. <laughs> Okay, take a break, switch your feet, and then rest your brain for a second since we just rattled it up. <laughs> How'd you know my brain was rattled? <laughs> All right, get your feet set in the opposite pattern. We'll go 30 seconds again. Ready, go. This is why a lot of elderly people fall in the grocery store. So we're going to work on it so you guys don't. Now switch your feet back to the first pattern you were in. And just to mess with you even more, we're going to look down at the floor, then up at the ceiling. Down at the floor, up at the ceiling. Again, in that heel-toe position. 
All right, ready? Go. Ooh, that's harder. Ooh. <laughs> It's even getting gale a little bit too. Good. <laughs> okay, rest. And then switch your feet. You got one more. So looking up and down from this position. All right. Ready? Go. Go as slow so you don't hurt your neck or knock yourself over completely. I want you to be wobbly, but not on the floor, please. You have to hold on to the grocery cart. Yeah, better hold on to the grocery cart. <laughs> All right, good. Okay. So then let's finish with heel toe raises. So lightly holding on for balance. We're going to go heel, toe, heel, toe. And then I think I'll be able to get you going on your um, calf stretches, but then I probably won't finish you. Yes. All right, hold it on to something lightly for balance. Ready, go. Try for 90 seconds. Go lift your toes as high as possible without letting your bum wander too far back. You know, I have pretty good balance, but when I come in from the really cold. Yeah, and you're stiff. And no, I just have trouble with my balance. Yeah. So I warm up. I hate being cold. Messes with your nerves. I get sometimes when my hands get so cold when I'm coaching that like if I point at something and I like point and straighten my arm, I'll get like an electric zinger. My nervous system like freezes. It's horrible. About halfway, stay tall. Keep your cord tight, your thighs tight, your buns tight. Really isolate calf and shin with the movement. Yes, I am. You're excited to come. You're gonna mix it up a little bit. Chill. <laughs> All right, good. Okay, so there's less than a minute remaining. So I would advise counting on your own for your two different calf stretches because you're going to cut out before a minute's even up. So you owe me straight leg and bent leg calf stretches, a minute of each on both sides. And otherwise, we will reconvene next year. Same time, okay. same place. New year. Kim, New year. are you going to be flying that day, or will you be back? No, I'll be back oh, for a see. little while. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm coming back the second. What day is that? Right. Isn't that the day we have class? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, I might miss that class. Oh, no. Second oh. Monday with the third. You're good. We'll see you on the third. Okay. All right. So see everyone next year. Happy okay, New Year. Bye. Happy New Year to you, too. Okay. Happy New Year, bye. everybody. Safe travels, Kim. Thanks.